So right before Avengers Endgame releases, we now know the semi-future of the MCU. It's big, and the Avengers are staying around. So we only know the next couple of years, but obviously Disney has to answer to investors. This is something that happens. This is how we learn a lot of details. Today, Bob Iger held a meeting to investors where he was specifically asked about the future of the MCU and the Avengers brand because believe it or not, yeah, people don't know that the Avengers are going to continue. They think Endgame means the franchise is over. Naturally, if you're an investor, you have your money in there, you want to make more money. It's a simple process, right? It's like one plus one equals two, right? So there you go. Well, Bob Iger was quick to confirm, yes, once again, as he said before, we are doing more Avengers. On top of this, he went a step further, confirming a May 5th 2023 release date of Avengers Secret Invasion. Now what's interesting is that there is also a Captain Marvel sequel that is going to be happening right before that in March. So more or less they're going to keep the um, same rhythm, you know, Captain Marvel movie, Avengers. And now we can start to kind of understand what's happening. At the end of Captain Marvel she goes out there, she's with the Skrulls. She comes back to Earth for Endgame. Okay, everything's good, right? Well, apparently not, because her sequel is obviously going to be a direct lead-in to whatever happens with the next Avengers, which obviously Secret Evasion tells you, I think, everything you need to know. So, who knows what things are going to be planted out there, right? Like, what are they going to be doing? What are they going to be kind of establishing, retconning, and who might have been a scrawl and who's going to end up being a scrawl going forward. I think things are going to play out rather interesting, but hey, um, we now know what the next Avengers film is, so get hyped. <laughs>